Hello and welcome to King Lizard's Game Lounge and some PC gaming action today from the ultimate epic battle simulator. How rad does that sound? So this game basically is a new release, it's available on Steam. It's in beta mode at the moment, so it's version 0.4 I think I'm playing. And this game basically lets you pit a variety of different armies and species against each other from history. So for instance, we've got T-Rexes in here, we've got kangaroos, we've got World War II US Army soldiers, we've got Spartans, we've got Romans, we've got Knights, we've got Persians. There's quite a selection in here that you can pit against each other and you can even define their formations and size on the battlefield. The battlefields are quite extensive, of which at the moment there's only three to choose from. But it's, you know, it's a good start for an early game. So what I've done here, you know, being a fan of battles and knowing a bit about history, I thought I'd chuck in my own version of 300. So I've got the historically correct 298 Spartans. Apparently two of the Spartans were off watching Walking Dead or Game of Thrones or something. So the 298 Spartans in the historically correct version of the battle and 1,500 Greeks. Now I couldn't choose the actual type of Greek soldier I wanted to choose, so what I've done is kind of do even things out is I've chosen 1,500 Persians to support the 298 Spartans. And then I've got an attacking force of 10,000 Persians here coming into battle. Now what I did deliberately, because obviously the original battle was on a narrow pass, and I wanted to create something that was a similar effect. So what I did was split the Persian army up to slow it down a little bit. And also I put our Spartans inside the castle that's on top of this hill. And then the supporting Persian forces in two groups or two armies, if you like, around the castle so that they can create this funnel effect. Because as you go up this map into the castle, it kind of narrows down into this corridor you're seeing here. So it's kind of giving that corridor battle. So this is as close as I'm gonna to get to that narrow corridor situation. Now, unfortunately there are multiple ways into this castle. So chances are we're probably gonna see some other battles form around the castle, I suspect. So it won't quite be one narrow corridor of battle like it was in the original, but what the hell, it's all for fun. So I hope you enjoy this. I'll be back at the end of the video. Just to be clear, this is the last 24 hours of the battle. So the original battle started out with 4,000 Greeks and 300 Spartans, just to be historically correct. So this is the last 24 hours of 300. Enjoy, and I'll be back at the end of the video.
So things looking decidedly against our defenders here as these attacking Persians are slowly whittling them down. However, it's been a very courageous and honorable fight from the Spartans and the Greeks just like it was in history. They have managed to deplete the Persian forces by over 5,000 troops, which is pretty impressive when you consider our starting force was just shy of 1,800 troops in defense. And very much like the historical version of the battle, our AI sprites here have done themselves proud. Now, I'll be back with more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, and the next battle of choice is Rourke's Drift. What I'd like you guys to do for me is if you enjoyed this video or you want to see another reenactment, please give me some comments at the bottom of the video and I'll put those battles together and make them reality so that we can see what the outcome will be. Please remember to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member of King Lizard's Game Lounge. Take care, keep well and keep watching. I'll be back soon.